Here is a company, British Sugar, and their job is to cook sugar cane and things like that and to produce granulated sugar. One day they decided that they were going to make their own power as well. They bought a, a huge gas turbine, rather like the engines which, uh, which are on, on jet aircraft, and they used a gas supply to the gas turbine to power electricity, and then they decided not only to produce their own power, but to use the heat from the gas turbine to cook the sugar, and then they had another genius idea. They thought, why don't we collect the gas? So they got a whole load of sewage pipes, enormous sewage pipes, and put them end to end on the back end of this enormous gas turbine that's running flat out, making electricity and cooking the sugar, and connecting uh, 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 on the back end here to a vast jet of hot, moist air full of carbon dioxide and, of course, water. And they pumped this pipe, they, they created a pipe that was two and a half kilometers long, and at the end of that two and a half kilometer tunnel was, is Europe's green, uh, largest greenhouse. And in that greenhouse grow 35 million tomatoes every single year. But once they connected that pipe into the greenhouse, the number of tomatoes produced in that space went up from 35 million a year to 70 million a year. If any of you live in Europe or have ever been on vacation in Europe, you have eaten a tomato built from carbon waste from a gas turbine used to cook sugar for British sugar. Now, I think that's a cool example of innovation. Even cooler, it's profitable. It saves them money. They did it for sheer, naked, willful, bottom line reasons, and yet it's a fantastic story. It gets the media headlines. It means that I'm talking to you about it. It makes you smile. It makes you think, yes, this is a fantastic example of great green tech used appropriately in, uh, for the shareholders' interests to preserve customers well and to preserve the resources of the planet. And that is precisely the spirit that we are going to see in logistics through and through, a hundred times over. Because, of course, every time you use a piece of Red Prairie software and it saves a bit of cost, every time it produces a bit of theft, every time it enables you to have your product at a slightly lower level in the warehouse, every time it enables you to, to work out a faster and, and, uh, and, and, uh, and more reliable route to get the product from A to B, you have saved money. You've saved money almost certainly uh, at the same time saving energy and resources.